Hi, I'm Matt Welch for Recent TV. I am here at Freedom Fest in Las Vegas. Honored to be joined by the great John Mackey of Whole Foods. You've been interested in libertarian causes and thought uh, for a long time. Um, you've also been part of this in incredible kind of revolution in the way that we talk and think and interact with food uh, over the years. And, and the politics of food, I think, have become pretty interesting in this country as part of that. Be interested to get in your take. It seems to me, and maybe I'm wrong, um, that a lot of the same kind of energy or the same kind of people who've been interested in the sourcing of food and, and, and being more conscious about uh, where, we, uh, where we get and how we process food particularly. Some of that energy then goes into kind of restricting the choices or banning certain practices. It doesn't have to lead to that, but there seems to be something in human nature that wants to restrict other people's choices. And some people are, seem to not be happy unless they're telling other people what to do, that they know best. And that, uh, so that's always discouraging. Do you or Whole Foods get involved in these kind of fights as they play out politically, or are you more interested in, in the consciousness raising aspect of it? We're more interested in the consciousness raising uh, aspects of it. We've occasionally waded into certain uh, political battles, like uh, we've been involved in getting organic uh, standards into law. Uh, and we felt like there was inconsistency, wasn't a level playing field, a lot of people were cheating. So we thought having consistent organic definitions and everybody playing by those rules would probably be a good idea. And I think on balance it has been a good idea, but of course there are problems with it. And organic itself is highly politicized. Uh, Whole Foods is very frequently criticized, most recently the New York Times for being a you know, one of the big corporations that uh, is corrupting organic. Uh, and just because we're large, uh, a lot of suspicion and mistrust, just because there's such an anti-corporation mentality by a lot of people in the country. Uh, and I mean, just because you're a successful corporation, is it that they, they're charging that, that you are kind of a, a bogus, you're a, you're a well, the narrative. Organic. You have to understand the narrative that many people have about business and capitalism is that they're fundamentally selfish and greedy and exploitative. And corporations are uh, uh, sociopaths, that uh, they don't care about anything or anyone but themselves and making as much money as possible. So therefore they cannot be trusted and they become too powerful and then they, they bribe people and they, they sell poisonous things and they're fundamentally evil. And um, of course I don't agree with that narrative. Uh, and in fact you have a book coming out uh, later this year talking about this. Tell us a little bit about it. What's the title? Well capitalism of course itself has been amazing. It's been, uh, our first chapter in the book is, is extraordinary success of capitalism. Uh, the second chapter is why isn't capitalism better loved? And we put forth the thesis that it we need a new narrative for it. We need to think about business differently, that business has the possibility to have a higher purpose besides just, just making money. There's nothing wrong with making money, but that's not particularly inspiring. And every other profession in the world, from doctors, teachers, engineers, architects, lawyers, if you ask what their purpose is, it refers back to some type of contribution they're making to other people. And business is the greatest value creator in the world. Business creates value for its customers, for its employees, for its suppliers, for its investors, for the larger communities it's part of. They're the value creators. We are the value creators. We're the heroes. And yet, that's not the narrative that's told about business. So we're telling that narrative. And at the same time, we're challenging business to be more conscious and to take their value creation to a higher level and understanding that all of these stakeholders they're creating value for are connected together. And so you ought to strategically organize your business in such a way that you can optimize value for all of those stakeholders. Fred Smith of the Competitive Enterprise Institute uh, frequently kind of bemoans the fact that capitalists and entrepreneurs are no longer selling that story, the, hero the heroic story about themselves, and are not interested in, in contributing to the discussion overall of the benefits of capitalism in the same way that you know, we might remember them doing in the 1950s and 1960s. There seemed to be more kind of, let's just talk about the underlying principles here. Do you share that kind of critique out there, or what's, what's your take on that? We have a section in the book where we talk about how the intellectuals hijack the narrative of, of capitalism and business. And you can go back to uh, 
I mean, Adam Smith wrote two great books, The Wealth of Nations and The Theory of Moral Sentiments. You synthesize together, those together, and you have, have self-interest and you have empathy and care and sympathy for others, and you have the foundation for a great economic system. But the intellectuals and the economists ignored that uh, ethical foundation of capitalism, and they tried to ground it on strict self-interest. And that led to ethical attacks. I mean, Marxism fundamentally is an ethical attack on capitalism as fundamentally wrong and evil. And that's the, and then the economists, um, even the defenders of capitalism, played into uh, trying to defend it strictly on the basis of uh, that, it cre that, it, that it creates wealth, and, uh, but not its ethical foundation of it, unless you do a Randian type of ethical foundation that it is about self-interest, and that's great. Uh, unfortunately, that hasn't sold very well to most people. It, and I, so we're trying to uh, change that narrative and uh, get people to realize the type of value that business creates. So the narrative of, of business being fundamentally greedy and selfish and exploitative, uh, that undermines business's standing in society. And it can't be defended. It has to be defended on an ethical basis, not just on the fact that it creates wealth. That's great. Thank you. John Mack from Whole Foods, uh, Matt Welch from Recent TV.